I'm going to start with chapter 5. The subject is computer applications and code is 165. For this year also we will continue with this. And first I have taken the chapter HTML since you all are familiar with this chapter. So if I give some videos or presentations for writing contents and all, it will be easier for you people to understand. So this is chapter number 5 and the title of the chapter is HTML1 Basic HTML Elements. You people are knowing that whenever you are going to see any website, different pages are there containing data, text, video and all. Those pages which are surfing through internet are known as web pages. But have you thought of how those pages are created? For creating those web pages, markup languages are used. And these languages are different from other programming languages which you have done or you must have heard about C, C++, Java, C Sharp. All these are programming languages. But here we are going to design the web pages and for that we are going to use markup languages. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language and it is basically used for displaying the web pages through any browsers. So you cannot say that HTML is a programming language. It is basically a document layout and hyperlink specification language. That is a language used to design the layout of a document and to specify the hyperlinks. It was developed by Tim Berners-Lee. Next is what HTML is and what it is not. So we'll start with what HTML is. It is a web page layout language. It is hyperlink specification language. It means that when you open any web page and any links are given and you move the mouse pointer over there, you must have seen that the mouse pointer changes to a hand sign. And when you click there, you will be forwarded to another web page. That is known as hyperlink specification language. And last is, it is a markup language. As I told, it is not a programming language. Next, I have covered that what HTML is not. It is not a word processing tool. Like in word processing, you can edit the data which is displayed there. But here in HTML, you cannot. Because the uh, people who will be surfing internet, they don't have the access to the source code of the web pages. They can see only the web pages there. The designing of the the designing of those source code and all it retains with the programmer or the website developer only. It is not a programming language. Next is different versions of HTML. It was started in 1991 with HTML and the latest approved standard is HTML5 with which we will be dealing. Next is what an HTML document consists of. It basically consists of tags and attributes. Tags are also known as elements. Tags are the basic means basic piece of code which will be written inside any HTML document and tags will all only contain the attributes. So basically two parts of HTML documents are there. One is tags and another one is attributes. Then comes the definition for tag and attribute. Tag, it is a coded HTML command that includes how part of web page should be displayed. So every HTML document will be a collection of tags only. No other programming code and all will be written. Only tags. And those tags will contain attributes. Attributes are the special words which will be written inside the tag which will specify additional information to the tags. Like you want to change the color of some line. You want to align some data towards left, right or all these specifications which will be done by the tags will be helped with the help of attributes. Next, how to write the tags? You must know that, uh, like I told that it is not a programming language. So some rules are being followed for writing the markup languages also. In markup languages, the tags are written within these angular brackets. So here, as you can see, head is written inside two angle brackets. And if you are writing anything like this, it will be considered as a tag. You can write the tags either in a capital letter or small letters. Both the cases are supported by HTML. It is not a case sensitive language. So if you are writing in capital letters, HTML and in small letters, both will be treated same. But for a convenience, like when I correct the copies and to uh, make these tags different from other text of the pages, you can write this in capital letters. Next is what 
a HTML document consists of means basically when you run the web page how many parts of the web pages are there for that first one is header and second one is body header part will be written inside head tag and body part will be written inside body tag next i have given a example of html document as i told two parts so this is the head part and this is the body part and this whole head and body part will be written inside html so that the browser will come to know what type of document it is what it is html and inside that how many parts head and body so this is the example of html document this is source code and when you will run this source code another page will appear this is the web page what i had written inside title it will be displayed on this bar and every window which you open in computer which will be having two parts this is the header part and this is the body part so i had written inside head tag title so it is displayed this on the title bar okay so don't get confused that this is the title or this is the title bar and whatever you will write inside title tag will be displayed on this bar only and whatever you will write inside body it will be displayed in this part of the window next is i'm going to explain one by one the tags which i had used in the example document structure here the first thing which i had used html tag it is written inside this tag a whole html document is written inside this tag only and the document will start with html and slash html will use to end the html document then comes head tag as i told that how many parts of the web page will be there header part and body part so header part will contain the all the things which you want to display on the header part so head tag it contains information about the document including its title scripts used style definitions and document descriptions next is title tag this tag contains the document title the title specified in the inside title tag appears on the browser's title bar i had already shown it there next is body tag whatever you will write inside the body tag will be displayed in the body part of the web next is as i have already told that you are going to use which version of html html5 so the coding the uh, document structure of html5 is little bit different from other versions of html here in html5 every document will start with doc type html you will have to learn it because in every document you have to write this thing next is the html tag which i had written in html same but here when attribute is used lang lang stands for language which language you are going to use for this html that is english then two parts as we mentioned head and then body inside head one more thing is used meta cassette qtfa rest of the things are same for html file now what difference you have seen inside that html document structure of other versions and html document structure of html file first thing was additional doc type tag was used second thing was different way of using html tag you must remember that lang attribute was used there then additional means that meta cassette tag was used it is optional but it is recommended that you must write it and last one other tags are then all the things of html5 document structure one by one i let you explain doc type is written at the top of the document the doc type is not an html element even though it looks a bit like that next html this tag is similar to earlier discussed in html tag although here the language english has been specified as attribute of html tag that is lang equals to english then last one meta cache set this attribute is given to specify the character encoding used by default for english pages the utf8 character encoding is used next what software you need for writing html document structure here we need one text processor i have written the example here it can be notepad wordpad whatever text editor you have you can use for writing the html pages now how to view the web page created with the help of the source code it can be viewed with the help of a web browser nowadays most of the people are using chrome mozilla firefox 
the many other web browsers are there which can be used for viewing the HTML web pages. We can use Netscape also, we can use uh, this uh, Netscape Navigator, whatever browser you have. Only the speed matters and the display area, these things will matter, but the latest one should always be used. So by the next class, we'll start writing the codes and I'll show some practical classes also with the help of my laptop. For the time being, this much is sufficient. You just go through all the slides which I have shown and I'll be asking, means I'll be giving some assignments based on these slides. So don't forget to go through all the slides and important notes you can make because when I give the questions, I'll see how many students are ready with the assignment copies and all once the school reopens. So please take it seriously while sitting at home. This is only for your convenience. You'll have to go through whatever videos are being shared through Campus Care. 